Hi folks, I know there are people out there who will um, look at these and say that's not a collection. But this is my case collection, it's starting to grow. We're at five uh, knives now, um, four of them obviously in the burnt amber, one in the blue. Um, they're all just um, street legal. These four are no, not a problem, this one is on the margin. But anyway, the other thing that, I've, that I wanted to show though, is I want to look particularly at one of them which is the case canoe. The reason I want to have a look at that specifically today is because I have three canoes and they vary in price, upside down I suppose really. If you, The higher the price would be at the top you'd have thought, wouldn't you? Those at the bottom. So we've got a case. I don't have a GUC. One day we'll have a GUC and we'll, we'll be able to compare. Uh, there's a rough rider in the middle there's a buck now the case is obviously hand finished in um bradford pennsylvania by case uh, the other two are both made in china and that's what i really wanted just to show the difference um interestingly that from this to this you double in price and from this to this you double in price again so uh the, the case is is really everything you would expect of it beautifully made it's lovely pinstripes um fit and finish is fantastic obviously the canoe i should really have said the canoe is a two blade one at each end knife one but these kicks that make it that give it its name of the canoe also cover the end of the the blade so you don't have a sharp protuberance it makes them a very nice carry in your pocket um as I say, it's a two-bladed knife. The case is the least flashy amongst them, as it happens. Uh, but it's just, it's the nicest finished. I'm trying to do this without cutting my fingers off on camera. And that would be, no, I'm going to have to cheat a little bit or I'm going to, I will cut my finger off. Nice spear point blades. It's case, you can tell by the tang there that it was made in... 2019 this year so it's very recent production again nicely sharp um, so you've got the spear point spear point blade at one end and then at the other um, you have let's see if I can do this I'd love to be able to do this on camera and I'm certainly getting better at it not yet at the other end you have what you could call a small spear point blade or you could call it and it's more probably accurately called a pen blade um, now my aim with these is always to keep the little blade absolutely razor sharp and the big one gets used and then you've always got this little scalpel for when you really really need a sharp blade um, keep it otherwise just uh, safely tucked away inside the handle so now we step down from that we go to the the buck knife now i mean in many respects it's exactly the same this one is, is obviously wood rather than than bone um, and again you've the two blades what is slightly different here is that we have a hollow ground blade with a very a small amount of flat at the top I mean you could call it a really deep sabre grind and also rather than being a pen blade I would say that's more of a drop point because the curve at the back back of the blade is shallower than the curve on the blade itself so we have that blade and then I'm sorry, I'm not going into great depth. There is a separate video on the back one, and there will be a separate video at some point on each of the others. But I just wanted to do a little comparison so you can see what the extra money gets you. And the other end, you have a pen blade again with a sort of saber ground, and it's a hollow ground with a final bevel. Um, and I quite like that. I mean, I quite like the shape of these um, the back blades. They're more, um, more to my mind, they're, they're more artistic 
The back ones are very, f they're, sorry, the case ones are very flat, you know, like a Swiss Army knife blade. These have got some sculpture and life to them. Uh, the In terms of the fit and finish and so forth, it's good, but it's not outstanding. I mean, there is a little bit of gapping to be down the bottom there, actually, but more than I really thought of it. It's not, it's not tremendous, but it's okay. Um, now, the other, the other third one is uh, Rough Rider, and uh, this is about, I think it's about 13 or 14 pounds or something. Again, same design, uh, but I th what immediately jumped out of me was the quality of the, the, the jig bone, the case jig bone. It's just really, really nice. This just looks a little bit functional. You know, so it's obviously been stuck to a machine that jigs exactly even jigs. It's, it also though does look like it's been hand finished. It's also unlike the um, uh, buck it does have a pinstripe on the bolsters. Um, so in terms of its blades, again, it's, just, it's the same two blade design. Um, Again, you could argue drop point, spear point. I would probably go more for a drop point on this, to be honest. 440 steel, yeah. Um, as you probably know, um, Bucky's, I think, 420. Um, they can do a good heat treat with it, whether or not they do on the Chinese knives. I, my suspicion is probably not. But I may be doing them a disservice. So my apologies, Buck. If I've just defamed you, I didn't mean to. And you have a little pen blade, which is genuinely a pen blade. I couldn't call it anything else. I like the um, match stripe nail nicks on this. Though. Now, oops, let's push that blade away. Rough Rider here. Their fit and finish is not bad. It's probably better actually than um, than uh, the buck. But then, and this is where I think there is an there is an issue between um, these two. Now these are both Chinese made knives, both made to a traditional pattern, so there's not really any worry about um, the you know the design features of them. They're very very similar in some in so many ways like that. But actually, I think Rough Rider is probably the better quality knife. And it is half the price. Now, people may argue about that, but I'm afraid I think that's just the way it is. Yeah. Now, I don't know if this was American made buck, whether it would make any difference. I, I don't really know. But these are both Chinese made knives. The This uh, American made case is, you know, just in every way superior. You've only, I mean, you could, in a blind test, you could hold this in your hand and just know this is a much, much nicer thing than than this. And I can't even put that into intelligible uh, words. It just is. And the buck, I'm actually quite disappointed with the buck, to be fair. Um, these sort of wood scales, they're, when I say wood, it's really, it's really a, it's sort of plywood, I call it diamond wood or pack of wood or something, but it's really just um, plywood. It's shaped the uh, the bolsters, but it's just flat in the middle. Now I know that's that is a style, um, but it's not a style that I'm particularly fond of. I prefer this one by mile. Anyway, thank you very much, folks. That is oh, those are my three canoe knives. <laughs>